This is the city. After its citizens have lived it up for just one refuse collection period. This is the city. After people have used it up, worn it out, and thrown it away. This is the city. With its serious problems of refuse disposal. On the order of two pounds for each person every day of the year. Rural, urban, or metropolitan. North, south, east, or west. The figures are averages. The problems were tremendous when burning surface refuse was considered to be adequate refuse disposal practice. Small wonder that the United States Public Health Service has long recommended the sanitary landfill method of refuse disposal. It can convert public eyesores into garden spots. It can change the old city dump from a festering wasteland into new living areas, parks, playgrounds, airports, and school sites to meet the growing requirements of this growing nation. But how best to do it? That is the question that confronts every community that faces up to the problem. Yes, you could use a tractor-drawn scraper if you wanted to, and if economies in operation mean nothing to you now. Frankly, however, this is a big and important function in road building and highway construction. While this is one of the easiest types of jobs modern crawler type tractors are called on to perform. What about bulldozers? Wonderful earth moving tools on countless construction and material handling jobs. But handling this type of material is not an earth moving job in the true sense of earth moving. Furthermore, in spite of the gross weight of the equipment, ground pressure is only about seven or eight pounds per square inch. The tracks alone will not give you the compaction you want in a good sanitary landfill operation. It's the weight of the material in the bucket, riding on a compaction plate, that gives you the compaction you have to have. A bulldozer blade alone could easily ruin by digging the compaction job you're trying to do. Ask yourself what it is that you're really trying to do in any properly conducted sanitary landfill operation. Your answer should be, essentially, distribution and compaction. Actually, two separate functions, with both of them essential to the whole job to get it done right. Even an ordinary front-end loader fine as it is for some types of work, is not the ideal type of tool for sanitary landfill operation. Yes, it will dig, lift, and carry. Three functions, you might say, but all of them total only the distribution part of the two requirements for a sanitary landfill job. Carrying the bucket above the ground does not give you broad compaction. The second of the two essentials for this type of work. Well, here, look at it this way. Take any lathe in a good machine shop. When the work turns and the tool travels, you come out with round parts. But on a milling machine, when the tool turns and the work travels, you come out with flat parts. Both functions are essential to any properly run machine shop that's worthy of the name. Neither tool can perform both functions by itself. Similarly, to do a sanitary landfill job properly, you would look for a machine with a combination of work methods, one that will both distribute and compact for the two separate functions of distribution and compaction. And fortunately for your community, there are two types of machines, both readily available, that will give you distribution and compaction with the greatest of ease. One of them is the International Drop Bull Clam Shovel, built for the larger communities where full-time work is the order of the day. The other is the International Drop Four-in-One Skid Shovel, built for the smaller communities' use on sanitary landfill operations and part-time use on other activities, like filling in trenches, stockpile work, or loading out trucks, any of the great variety of jobs you can do with a combination of a bulldozer 
bull clam, clam shell, and skid shuffle. Yes, they do look somewhat alike, but you can recognize the differences quite readily with closer examination. The sidearms tell you very quickly that this bull clam is basically a digging, pushing, and carrying tool. Here, the front end looks different. With the arms inside the crawler tracks, this international drop four-in-one skid shovel is basically a digging, pushing, carrying, and lifting tool. What they are is not too important at the moment. How they work most certainly is. So let's look very closely into these matters on a number of jobs in different parts of the country. This is the third International Drop TD-18A Bull Clam Shovel that has been purchased and put to use profitably by the city of Tampa, Florida in the past year and a half. In their wealth of experience, these city fathers have found out their own best ways to cooperate with the United States Public Health Service in building sanitary landfills for multiple benefits to this municipality. At the outset, they selected a practical site with room enough for requirements, one acre for each 10,000 of population per year. For a six-foot fill is a general rule of thumb. Tampa's experience favors this 10-foot fill. The topography of the land is no problem for you can build your own ramp structure in almost any area, gullies, hilly country, or even flat land. Plan your dumping area to accommodate the capacity of your collection trucks, the frequency of their dumping, and recognize seasons of extra heavy pickups. Build the ramp just as high and as long as your requirements call for, but figure the working angle at about 30 degrees on the upward slope. And of course, you always build the ramp from the bottom up. When the collection trucks drop their loads, use your powered equipment to spread the material evenly on the face of the ramp. International drop bull clam shovels vary in size, as you would expect, to fit the machine to the job. TD9s, TD14s, or TD18s are the crawlers. Design of the front end equipment is the same in each case, scaled only in size to match the power source. Now watch this distinctive advantage of the bull clam shovel method of sanitary landfill. Not just a dozer and not just a clam shell. This bull clam shovel gives you both machines in one. It lets you handle the dirt only once on any job. You merely doze the bucket full, controlling the depth of the cut by the opening of the bucket. Watch that rolling action of the dirt boiling up in the bowl, much like a scraper action for full loads each trip. Then you dump the full load on the refuse. Go back and get another big heaping load in the bucket and skid the second full bucket over the load of the first. See now how you get such marvelous compaction with this equipment? The loaded bucket rides the debris and night cover dirt. The weight of the load on the compaction plate gives you the compaction you need and you must have to do the job right. This is the way you get a force of compaction on the order of 35 to 50 PSI, compared to the tiptoe pressure of the crawler tracks. When wet weather days come, you can do even better. The added weight in the bucket gives you even better compaction. Well, that's the basic idea for the bull clam shovel system for a sanitary landfill. Spread out the refuse. Dig, load, and carry the dirt only once. Compact the night cover with the weight of the next load in the bucket. But here are a couple of more points that might help. Experience shows that ramp widths should be about four to five times the width of the tractor for each bull clam shovel on the job. The number of international drop machines to be used on a job is determined by the population of the community, distance of travel to the site, 
number of trucks used for pickups, capacity of the average load, and the frequency of delivery to the sanitary landfill operation. Adequate soil at the site is an important consideration for reasons of distribution. It's the first six inches of night cover that prevents the wind from blowing the refuse, that eliminates odors and does away with the rodent problem, kills fire hazards and smoke, that does in truth make it a sanitary landfill operation. Then for compaction, it's the weight of the dirt in the bull clam shovel bucket that enables you to do the job right. Soil to the depth of two feet makes the final permanent cover on all sanitary landfill operations. Then comes the planting or landscaping or building. Whatever you may want to finish the project and make use of the new land. You've been watching International Drop Bull Clam Shovels primarily doing this work up till now. Available in sizes, as we've said, in the TD9, TD14, and TD18 horsepower ranges and work capacities. It's specialized equipment. Ideal for full-time use on sanitary landfills. But as you also know, the versatile international drop four-in-one skid shovel is also ideally suited for this work, plus a variety of other jobs. On sanitary landfill work, the method of use is just the same as you've already seen. Build your ramp to the same 30 degree slope. Spread refuse and compact cover. Move cover dirt only once. Pick it up back from the base of the ramp for both night cover and final cover. When front loading, use the roll back action of the bucket to pry out rocks, roots, or stumps with the added power of this unique development. Three times the power available for lifting bigger, fuller buckets every time. Skid the load along the ground for best use of horsepower and least stress on the equipment. Another International Draught exclusive feature, by the way. Compact the fill and spread the previous load with the full weight in the bucket of the next load you pick up. You adjust the depth of cut while you're digging by the amount you open the clam bucket. By the way, this cold weather operation in one of our northern border states may help you with your work. Sanitation cannot be postponed just because it gets cold, as you know. So remember first, another definite advantage of quick cold weather starting with International's exclusive gasoline starting system, just like you have on your car or truck. Start on gasoline, and run for a few moments to warm up the lube oil for full protection of all bearings and pistons. Then, cut over to diesel for most economical full power operation. Now here's a trick that may help you in deep frost conditions, where the tracks might slip because of the deep frozen ground. Spread the refuse with a dozer blade, same as old. Then make a light compaction run with an empty bucket or just the crawler tracks themselves. It'll help reduce the skidding and give you better traction when you pick up the next load of cover dirt to take to the fill. Then spread with a full bucket for full compaction when you complete the job properly. Proceed in the accepted fashion recommended, as you know, by the Public Health Service of the United States government. Smooth out the surface area with the compaction plate on the bottom of the bucket. Or back drag with the big, broad, flat surface of the outside of the clam part when you may want a tabletop smooth finished surface. You have seen significant highlights of international draught equipment at work on representative examples of sanitary landfill operations. You know what the equipment is, you know how it works. And you can determine quite readily what it can do for you. 
So let's take just a second to talk about you. This is your city as you know it to be. This is what it can be and is what the taxpaying citizens have a right to expect. And these special purpose machines with their exclusive features, all readily available, are the obvious right means to the end, to give you what you want in place of what you have. Special purpose machines that take over the raw material at the site and give you in the end what is the citizen's delight. They turn trash into treasure. They change waste into wealth. They make refuse into recreation areas. From hazards, you get help. Consider carefully then, if you will, the two types of machines that will give you what you want, distribution and compaction for sanitary landfill operations. International Drop Bull Clam Shovels for full-time operation on these types of jobs. International Drop 4-in-1 Skid Shovels for sanitary landfill and other types of work with the self-same equipment. Discuss further pertinent details with your International Industrial Power Distributor. Get what you need to get what you want and have the benefits real soon.